No, I was just trying to be a leader. Uh, just focus on winning, whatever the team needed me to do. Take open shots, defend, rebound. Um, and I feel like that's what we came here. I feel like we got back to playing Iowa State basketball like we were in January. And uh, I just feel good, man. What caused you to want to take on that leadership? I just felt like, you know, I, could, I couldn't let us go that direction, you know. We were, we got so much talent on this team, so many good players, great coaching staff. And I just I didn't want to lose the opportunity. I think it was the biggest thing. Uh, I got too much love for these guys, uh, for this program. And, uh, yeah, I just I wanted to come out here and represent Iowa State the right way. When did you make up your mind that you were going to, say, be the guy, be a leader? I think after we got we got beat by, by Texas by a lot. Uh, when we went down to Austin and they smacked us, that was kind of the point for me. I felt like, man, we got to do something about this. And uh, I think everyone, you know, each guy took their own little, you know, whatever they had to do, and uh, we got it back on track. Did you, you ever say anything to Coach Chrome like, hey, I want to, I guess, instill myself as a leader? Yeah, I, I sent him a pretty long text. Uh, he texted us all after the Texas game and came to me and just said, hey, what do we got to do? To max out these last couple weeks of our season. And I just sent him a big long text about how I want to be more of a vocal leader. Um, and just try to help the guys as much as I could. And I feel like that's what I did. What all did you say in that text besides that? I mean, just pretty much that's it. I just said, you know, coach, I can't remember word for word. It was yeah. a long text, but, you know, I got to the end. I just said, I think the biggest thing I need to do to help this team get better, be more of a vocal leader for these guys, hold people accountable, and uh, just make sure we're doing things the right way. What do you say to that? He, actually, he didn't respond. Uh, you know, he's a busy guy. He's got a lot going on right now. And uh, I'm sure he was stressed out, you know, just with the way we were playing. Back in Ames and you were barking when you broke that? Or what? Yeah, yeah, in, in my barking in Ames. Um, I'd actually, I think I just got back from class. It was in between class and practice, so took a second to think about it, and uh, that's what I came up with. Oh, yeah, man. We knew this whole week that we were, you know, we were ready to win this whole thing. Uh, we, uh, we had... You know, talk to each other. Then. You know, we know. So, just being able to do that has been great. And I, I appreciate these guys. It's going to leave uh, a legacy here. I always say. How about Nick leading you guys? He's been here before. Obviously, he had a couple big shots down the stretch. Um, his his leadership in this tournament. You know, he's a senior, man. Senior step up in the big moments, man. And I'm appreciative of the fear that, you know, that they help us follow his footsteps. Me and Reese, you know, with us two being the first track starters. So, just being able to go through that and have Nick there is great for us. Thank you. I feel like I accomplished something, man. Like I said earlier, uh, probably yesterday I want to win at every level, man. So just being able to win here, you already know, y'all. <laughs> I want to win at every level. So being able to win here is a blessing for me. Um, you know, it, it's everything. It really means everything. Um, the amount of texts I was getting sitting up there, just hearing people, you know, show love and continuously, you know, show love when I'm just walking through. I mean, this is a home away from home. You know, kids like myself, you leave home to kind of pursue certain type of dreams. And I mean, it's a family. You know, I, I'm, I'll be a cyclone for the rest of my life. I'm forever indebted to these people and these kids, man. I'm so proud of them. I'm glad I could be here today. I feel good. You know, I want to be known as a winner. So, you know, it was great coming here, you know, and getting the championship, you know, with my teammates. You know, my, I give credit to a lot of my teammates. Uh, you know, they stepped up in big moments and, you know, they gave me the confidence to, you know, have the ball in my hands at the end of the game. I mean, they all have. I mean, they're all special. They're all really hard to get. Um, this one obviously is a little different because you have a, a lot more youth, a lot of new guys on this team that really haven't experienced this before. Uh, the last time we had a lot of experience with some older guys, Naz actually is here tonight. Uh, but it means a lot for these guys because I told them when I was walking through the line shaking Texas Tech's hands after they beat us at our place, I think Moretti said to one of his coaches, man, we're connected for life now. That's what I talked to these guys about before the game is, guys, you got 40 minutes and you guys will be connected for life as well. And, you know, maybe 20 years down the, down the road, 25 years, whatever, they're going to honor you guys at a reunion one day. And I'm really proud of, I'm proud of them and happy for them so they can understand that if you do it the right way, if you do things right, man, great things can happen to you. And God's blessed us all, man. It, it's been unbelievable. What's it mean to have Mariel win outstanding player this tournament? He deserves it, man. I didn't I didn't hear who won it, but then I, I kind of figured it. But he deserves it. His work ethic, his character, uh, he's been tremendous for us all year long. How much momentum does this give you now heading into the NCAAs? Well, I think it just has guys probably really bought in and focused. Now we got to handle success, though. Enjoy this for the next 20 hours, you know, until the selection show. And then after that, we come back to work on Monday. You know, we got to be dialed in to film and scouting report. How bad do you want to be in Des Moines? You know, I, I, you know, 
it'd be great if that's the right seed and the right matchup. But I think it's more important about matchups. Obviously, you know, uh, the better seed, uh, you know, is, is great. But anybody, man, it is tough to beat. I mean, you saw that last year with a one and a 16. So we just got to go play and play the right way. You got to the top of the ladder, and it looked like you – you kind of looked around. What was going through your mind right there? Yeah, we just got a great fan base. I wanted to kind of see our guys and let them just kind of make sure they're they're enjoying this. And I mean, our fan base is tremendous. Uh, I mean, it means everything. Just just transferring. A lot of people doubted that I shouldn't have left with my one year. Um, I believe in Coach Prom. Coach Prom believed in me. Um, having him having him have the confidence in me and help lead this team uh, to a to a Big Twelve championship is everything. Uh, it's definitely everything. How much did the team need it after what you've been through the last three weeks? I mean, it's what we envisioned. We envisioned it since last spring. Um, we knew we were capable of um, when we played together, man. It shows. It shows. So we're just get, glad we got this done. What do you think of George Condit's minutes today? Man, George, George was the X Factor today. He came in, him and Lindell off the bench, um, and sparked us. Uh, every, every, every time they threw a punch, George and Lindell answered. Uh, today wasn't my, today wasn't my night. Um, that's what our team's about, man. It could be anybody's night. And that's what we got to keep moving forward in turn. What kind of message over the last three days did you guys send college basketball? That once we're right and we're playing together, we could be anybody. So, um, I mean, I'm just looking forward to playing in a tournament again and, and having these young guys experience it. Um, I think we're going to make a lot of noise. We just got to stay together, stay humble, um, and take it a day at a time and, and follow Coach Crohn's lead. And I'll do what I can, but I will do what he can. And, uh, the world is ours if we stay together. What, 